Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stenow with uh, tonight's Deep Dive. It is August 1st, 2018. I thought I'd take a look at soybeans today, the uh, ETF being SOYB on the long side. I'm going to spend a little time on this market to really kind of give an idea as to how the systems are reacting to the movements we've seen over the last two days. Uh, so first, let's just go through that the trends are still pointing to the downside, despite the fact that we've had a nice bullish, well, short-term pop to the market that we've been able to profit from uh, but they're all still pointing to the downside because they're slow moving and uh, it, it's to be expected now what has happened here just recently is that the uh, the technical rating has gone flat which is a good sign uh, because it really is an indicator that the market is gotten a little bit ahead of itself and there's a little bit of change uh, looming in the air now to add to this we had a pivot high and a hump uh, on the power level uh, and I'll explain both of these when we actually take a look at the chart. Uh, so let's just uh, take a look at that now. So uh, here is the elastic level where that ha that pivot high where the market had been uh, surging to the upside. Uh, we had been long. We unwound one of our long positions right now, so we're hedged. But I, I see it kind of meandering and looking at resistance at the 50-day moving average after having had this nice little surge to the upside which we've been able to profit from but now we've gotten into overbought territory and if anybody's ever traded before you know you can get in overbought territory and it can stay in overbought territory for an extended period of time but we're in that phase now uh, the other thing that um, has occurred here here is the hump uh, indicator. Uh, it's not just because today is Wednesday and it's hump day, but literally what this means is that the trend is to the uh, downside, as I su suggested with the uh, uh, the trend indicators, and this little surge could be more of a uh, kind of a surge during a bull market but the market would then reverse and get back into that trending mode that's what that yellow dot pops up and that's what it's indicating that's what a hump market is suggesting and so that the the, the trend is still established and has not uh, waned at all and one would expect the market to sell off a little bit further here now we got a mixed bag here because that's what it's showing with the potential for the the daily bar basis but I mentioned that the market had been overbought so I'm gonna spend a little extra time here and kind of go through a couple things here here is the elastic level this is the indicator that we use to, to determine if a market is overbought or oversold or extremely overbought or extremely oversold here's soybeans uh, it is at the top of the list had been because this is from yesterday had been uh, extraordinarily overbought now, all markets react differently to overbought and oversold conditions. So I'm going to just simply show you the tendencies. This is market tendencies, uh, X for extreme, OB for overbought phase. And here are soybeans towards the top of the list. It's in that overbought territory. But the key is that it's been there and does go there on, on a relatively frequent basis 6.9 call it 7% of the time it can get into this overbought territory so the fact that it's in overbought territory isn't necessarily worrisome uh, and so what I could expect to see is a little bit of chop with the meandering in and around and the testing of this uh, 50 day moving average which is what this yellow line represents but it is telling me that there is the potential for the market to to sort of turn over again uh, and then uh, see as we're not the market really wants to, to rally a little bit so what's taking place with the systems well with uh, today's action um, we have actually hedged ourselves a little bit. So right now, uh, we've got a nice open position profit on the long side, uh, but we only have one long position. Now that long position really stems from the fact that we have a number of systems, three systems that are actually trading right now. We unwound with a profit a long position earlier in the day, and that left us with two long positions and one short position. The short position is a weekly, and then we have a long uh, that is a 90 minute and a daily system. So we actually have 
have a little bit of a hedge going on right now, uh, but net net, it only shows us being long one particular position. And that's a good thing. This is what I'd like to see take place with our systems because as the market on daily bar basis comes up and the what I'm going to term is the quote unquote easy money with the market having surged here the easy money is off the table now we get into this construction period where the market is going to make a decision is it going to sort of test which it hasn't officially done as of yet this 50-day moving average and then bank on that and resist against that and then potentially sell off as uh, our elastic level and potentially this hump uh, indicator is suggesting or is the market just going to run resistance kind of pause here a little bit and then start to take off again well if we knew that uh, then we would uh, be able to uh, to take trades all the time with no uh, no, no downside but for our money right now with the systems uh, having unwound one of those long positions and basically saying we don't know exactly where the market's going to be going so we're going to take a little bit of money off the table that's not necessarily a bad thing uh, what we've had uh, in recent days if I can pull this up here actually I guess uh, let me go ahead and pull this up here so under signals we go to deep dive and we just simply go to the daily pro alerts uh, what we're looking at is uh, the fact is is that the surge profit taking these are in daily bars corn soybeans and wheat they're all suggesting take some profits and so that's really the step and the stage that we're in right now that the quote unquote easy money has been made we're going to go into a consolidation type period volatile as I think it will be uh, and uh, we're just going to let the market kind of subside a little bit and make the decision what does it want to do so that's what the systems have done today having unwound one of those long positions and putting us in a position that we're still long but we have a hedge one uh, one short too long net net we're long one contract and we're preserving and taking a little bit of money off the table so that's kind of where we stand right now as soybeans I would suspect there's going to be a little increased volatility here and that there's going to be a shakeout a little bit and what we want to be able to do is to you know take money off the table and uh, live to trade another day there's always another opportunity that's going to rise here longer term using weekly bars very different story and I would suspect that we're building out for a nice long position but for right now I think that there's just going to be a little bit of profit taking and uh, put ourselves in a position that we can uh, increase our position and our, our uh, position sizing here in the coming days weeks or so so that's really what's taking place here with the uh, the surge high having occurred in uh, soybeans so a little bit of a breather for the time being the other thing I'm going to point out is this uh, earlier today I put out a new uh, video some new content talking about dollar risk I would suggest that you take a look at that one uh, it's a new uh, charts that I put out there for an evaluation of the market and how much risk is really associated with certain markets and comparing uh, say the grain markets against the uh, the energy markets you'd see right now that there's a little more volatility associated with that there's more risk associated with that and this dollar risk uh, uh, definition and so the things that I talked about in that previous video might be helpful to uh, to certain individuals so do take a look at that and uh, from that side let's see how things kind of play out here with soybeans uh, sort of going into protection mode and we will live to trade another day and see as to whether or not we can uh, increase our, our longs or shorts in the, the coming uh, days possibly early part of uh, uh, next week so from there we'll uh, kind of go from there thanks for watching appreciate it bye bye